Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. My name is Jema Air Daniel, aka Jerry Keys. So I'll be talking about um, Forex, right? So I posted that I'll be teaching Forex for free on my YouTube channel. I'll be teaching from basic, like from beginning. So for those people that don't know anything about Forex, like this is for you. So now I've been talking to so many people about forex like you know people ask me questions a lot of questions about forex like they want to learn they're interested they're scared of scam they're scared of this and that they don't want to lose money and all this stuff and i'm like ah. okay so many people have had the counter about forex most people feel like forex is scam you know forex is this and that and all this stuff well what i'm going to tell you is that forex does not scam anybody so the only way you can get scammed is if you do investments with people and they tell you that investment is forex that is when you can get scammed so in other words you give somebody your money you give a your money and it tells you i trade forex now you don't do research about his business you now give a your money to trade for you if he loses the trade he's supposed to show you the trade that he took right and say okay this is the trade that i took this is how i lost this profit and then it's going to explain everything to you but this one you don't get any trade loss you don't see the charts you don't see the drawdown the everything on the um, trade balance you don't see the trade balance you don't see anything you don't see the number of trade the person took you don't see the lo lost trade itself and it tells you that ah, the money has gone or one thing payment issue one payment issue or the other and all those stuff you already know that's a lie because that person just ate your money or that person probably not a trader. Do you understand? Because I won't say there's no downside to trading. Trading is a very, let me even not tell you. Forex is a very, very risky business. And if you want to do Forex, you have to be ready with your mind and your soul. Like you have to be mentally ready for anything that happens to your fund. So Forex is a very risky business. It has the power to make you very rich. And it has power to make you very, very, very poor. Like, you can be rich and then you just become poor, totally like bam. And then you can be very poor and it raises your standard for you and you're so rich. You can have a lot of money through Forex. I should not lie. I've seen people do wedding with Forex money before. Yes, yeah, so people have, have withdrawn Forex money before. Do you understand? So, Forex, Forex is, is sweet money. I should tell you, I should just, let me, let me call it the way my mentor is calling it. Then. Forex is like blood money. You know, when you say blood money, Forex is like blood money. It's, it's, it's a serious business. Do you understand? So that's one thing I have to say about that. So, so one other thing we have to know is you have to do research by yourself about Forex. So because I, don't want, I want us to be on the same page. So I, there are not, so many things I might not be saying, but I just want you to also do your own research about Forex. Talk to people. Check online. There's anything you're looking for is online. Do you understand? So now, what is Forex, right? So, um, Forex is actually a place, right? Forex is actually a place where different people or companies come together for a purpose. Do you understand? Forex is a place where different people come together for a purpose. People, businesses from different countries, from people with different, um, you know, backgrounds, people with different skin color, you know, you can be white, you can be black, you can be brown. Everybody come together in one place to do a, a particular thing, which is either they are buying or they are what? Selling. Do you understand? And if, if, you, if, you, if you actually trade in Forex, it means you are a what? You are a trader. Do you understand? So a Forex trader is a person that actually trades, right, um, in the market, in the Forex market. And it is either the person is actually buying or the person is selling. Now, what are we buying and what are we selling? What we are buying or selling is price, right? We are either buying at a particular price level or we are selling at a particular price level. That is the only thing we are doing in Forex. We are not taking fish to the market to go and sell. We are not taking rice. We are actually exchanging. That's why they call it Forex exchange, right? We are actually exchanging price from one a particular amount to the other. So when they say you are buying low to sell high, this is forex right so we we'll buy price at a particular point 
and then we choose to sell it at another particular point that is forex so we are going to be going deeply deeply in other other videos do you understand but here i just want to enlighten us so that we know what we are doing right now and that's in, i've been hearing some people say ah forex is gambling forex is this and that yes some people gamble with forex why some people actually do business in forex do you understand now how do people gamble in forex now let me use south african guys i'm so sorry but i have to just use this like south african south african people are like the amazing people i've seen the forex like do you know that south african people can they can double your accounts like triple times stuff like that. in your say in one seconds for you like you'll be surprised at how did they do it this south african they will just do a lot of massive trades like they can use a hundred dollar and risk that account and they have this faith that hundred dollar can become one thousand dollar that is actually when you're not talking about gambling you know when you are risking so much than your account it is actually gambling but when you are taking time, you are putting, making sure that every you have a goal, you have a setting, you have a plan. That is a business. Another way you can do business in Forex is if, uh, for, for example, you're a broker. Oh, you think brokers don't trade? Ah, uh, brokers trade. Brokers, they trade also. They don't just give you the liberty to use the Forex platform. They also trade their, invest, um, their portfolios too. Do you understand? So brokers do business. How do they do business? They give you, they add all the whole money of every other person, and then they are able to get into the market, right? But they take a commission from you. You don't know that the brokers take commission. Oh, you don't know. So when you take a trade, brokers have this percentage that they charge you per a particular trade. Do you understand? Most times you see that uh, when you're having a trade, you can see that you're having a slippage under. Do you understand? So they take commission. So that's business. Do you understand? Another way people do business is by referral. Now, pro, um, Forex is not a Ponzi scheme. When I say referral, it's not something that you have to go and bring Mr. A to come and do. Some people don't actually trade in Forex. Some people just want to be sharing their referral link. When they register with the broker, they, they share their referral link and so that people can be joining them. That is actually another kind of business because when you register with their link, there's a percentage of amounts that they give them when you trade all the stuff. Do you understand? So that's another kind of business. And there are so many kind of business. Some people you do um, forex practices. Some people do forex signals. You pay them monthly, weekly, or so, and that's how they make their money. And they don't trade. Do you understand? Some people just give signals. That's their job. They make money from it. Even when they trade, they know that they trade on their own. They make money. They do signals and they create a group and they make money from it. Some people just basically um, come to YouTube, do a video about forex. And they might not be a trader. They just come and just show you, ah, I made $50 billion. You go and watch, bah, YouTube is paying them. That's another kind of business. And when you ask them, they tell you, I'm doing what? Forex, what? Business. Do you understand? So there are many ways, right? If you are not, if you are not trading the right way, you are gambling. That's you are risking your whole account. You are not praying, oh, Father Lord, let this thing go down, let this thing go down. That is actually gambling. You are joking with your account because when the account blows, you start having heart problem like yeah 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 and you then you now start good you know have spread news that um forex is a scam forex is bad forex is this and that right so forex is not a scam actually right so i'm coming let me on this slide yeah forex is not a scam okay so forex is not a scam right so that's that for for that now um Okay, so I've been talking about broker. Who is a broker? Broker is actually um, a company. First, before I go to who is a broker, now, who are the people that actually trade in Forex? You and I, right? So, and then we have companies like the IBM, the Microsoft, the Mark Zuckerberg, those people with the big name, right? The Elon Musk. We have people like the banks. They call them institutions, right? They trade in the Forex. So, you're not the only one that's trading. We have billions of people that are trading do you understand and they have money so when somebody's telling you that forex is shutting down forex is not shutting down guys don't let them deceive you forex is not closing forex is not shutting down there are so many people in the market monday to friday and the market closes on um sunday evening